Hey guys, it is Wednesday night. I just got back home from work. I'm preparing myself for my dinner. I'm just having like breakfast for dinner, eggs and bacon. And I received my order from Le Grot, so I am going to show you guys that because I'm very excited for it. Uh, so let's, let's go. I've already opened the bag. Let's see. Yeah, like I said, I've already opened the, the parcel that it came in, but the main thing that I got from her was this handmade, hand-drawn tote bag. Look at the sparkly eyes. I really wanted to get it so when I saw it on her story, so I got that. And she also sent me some Norwegian candy. She really didn't have to do this. I don't know why you did this to me, but thank you again so much, Lake Rot, for, for all your work and for sending me extra stuff. Thank you. You didn't need to send me candy. You didn't at all. And I also did order, I don't remember, I think I ordered an original from her or a print. Or maybe, no, I think I just ordered the bag, actually, because I'm getting her art book. Yeah, look, I got stickers too. Okay, I'm going to show you guys in full detail here because a lot of them are sparkly. This is a nice bag. It's a nice plastic bag. Artists really get into packaging for unsurprising reasons. Oh, I got a print. I got an original doodle. Look at that. I can hear my bacon frying. And then the stickers that I saw on her story. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. And then this one, they have the hollow eyes. Well, hollow graphic eyes, but also kind of hollow looking. Cool. And then her card. She finally has one. So I've always been, I've been supporting her for a long time. I will leave her link down below. And then this is the printer that I got. Okay, I gotta check out my bacon. Hold on. So I'm going to put all the stuff aside. My new stickers, which I think I'm gonna put on my agenda. And, uh... I think I'm just gonna use this bag for like when I go out like TCAF or something like that. I, I tend to use a tote bag every day, but I use the ones that I don't mind messing up like the... I use that one, I bring it every day. But I'm just gonna use this one, this beautiful one for when I go to like conventions or something or I go shopping or where it's part of my outfit. Oh, what a messy office. Candy. And of course, I'm keeping the cardboard. Thank you, Licorat, for the cardboard. <laughs> Let me show you what happened to my old vlog camera. You hear that? It's trying. It's finally done. I wonder if I can fix it. Maybe I feel like the power isn't strong enough anymore. Or I smashed it. Hmm. Nope, it's gone for now. Well, I think forever. Which one? I pick this one for my agenda. Whoa. Amazing. Look at my collection. I oh know. I need the circles. <laughs> How am I gonna? Hmm. How do people do the circles? I guess I'll just keep the circles. How weird. Like, I need the circles and the A's. Well, I'm gonna figure this out. Hmm. Okay, so... Man, it's going straight in the middle here. I'm using my blue paint pen. I was usually... I was um, originally going to do spray paint but it's just too complicated and it's so messy i did spray paint for the white maple leaf and then i used my white paint pen to clean the edges which is very noticeable but 
um, I decided to just go and color in the text with this blue paint pen. I'm doing this for a family member, by the way. Um, so today I'm just tonight I'm just working on gifts. I have um, like two commissions to do for a family member, so I want to get this done. <laughs> the the what do you call it? The hole in the O or the circle inside the O. I, I don't know what to do with that. And so with the A and the P and the R, like <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> I gotta tape it down. I hope the tape does not lift the spray paint. I'm really afraid of that happening. Oh, I should have I should have cut the cardstock better, but stupid me did not. I don't even know what my thought process is here, so <laughs> fingers crossed. Thank you, next I'm done. I'm gonna let this dry completely. It doesn't look too bad from far away, but from close up, no thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a drafts person, so I hope. He is okay with that, and he knows that, so this is for my boyfriend's dad, so. Um, I'm gonna clean this up and then work on something else. I said if I would've ordered a large pizza, I would've gotten the same amount of hate, which is so it's kinda like- One of the bulbs on my ceiling today went out, so it's extra dark in here. But I'm working on some family Christmas gifts, and I finished this one. This one is actually, a commission that um, my boyfriend's mom wanted me to do so I wanted to do it for her I rarely do commissions nowadays just because I don't have time but for Christmas I wanted to make it for her so this is a f dog <laughs> obviously it's a dog it's her co-workers dog I, I don't know why I'm finding it hard to make sentences right now it's about um, 11 20 on a Wednesday night this is a, I guess it's a beagle, his name is Omaha, and she bought the frame for me so I just put the drawing in there. And the next thing I'm working on is this commission of the baby. I don't know why she gave me two extra frames. I thought she only wanted me to draw two things, but I will have to text her. Um, <laughs> while I was doing this, it made me really laugh because I haven't drawn like portraits in a while, like realistic slash cartoony looking portraits. and. I don't know, I just, I was just laughing just because it's, I guess, like it's cute. I really like how it turns out, but I think I'm just remembering Quinn, the baby, and she's just making me smile. She sent me a bunch of photos. Quinn is actually my boyfriend's uh, niece, so um, I don't think her mom watches the vlog, so I hope she, ha she, I hope she doesn't. I'm pretty sure she doesn't, but I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> I think it's a smile. She did say I was okay to share Quinn's photos, so I'm gonna share like one or two because she's so cute. <laughs> okay, sorry, my phone is messy. I mean, it's not like photorealistic, but um, I thought it kind of, it was just too cute. It like all babies look like Gerber babies. So plus the cartoony style slash the semi-realistic thing, it's kind of meh, but it's I still really like it. But anyway, here is Quinn, and she is wearing a bell costume here. During this was Halloween this year, uh, she's wearing a bell costume that's all crochet, and that rose is like a crochet rose. And she actually has a toque, but it has braids at the back with um, that's all crochet too, which is Belle's um, hairstyle. But <laughs> she's so cute. Hey, let me find. And she's just eating the rose. Let me find a picture of her. We tried to take a photo of her costume. So here is like the toque, but it's like a bell dress. And she even has like crocheted, crocheted bell shoes. So she was so cute. So I took a couple photos of her here. Look at this one. Like, <laughs> it's like she's doing that dance. So cute. So, um, and then her... Her, um, I guess grandma sent me a couple photos. So yeah, that's who I'm drawing. I'm just finishing up the little bib thing and I'm gonna add like a, I know I made it really pink. Um, her name is really, 
what do you call it? Not asexual, but her name can be both for a girl and a boy. But I, I put the ribbon on because it's like really classic. And I saw there was a bunch of photos with her with a ribbon on. Uh, the earrings are a little bit too big. Obviously, the eyes are really big. Uh, but I think it turned out really great. And I'm going to put this right in the frame when I'm done. Uh, but my gosh, uh, just because there's a baby in the family now, I'm just getting really bad baby fever because, you know, it just is a thing. I think once you hit this age, I'm not ready yet. I don't think, I don't know if I will even have one. But I can definitely make one, I think. I think I have all the right, you know, machinery for it. It's just, I don't think I'm ready yet. But baby fever is really heavy the past couple of months. Especially with seeing Quinn around. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, the, well, the photos are cute, but my drawing is okay. I, th I hope she likes it. Anyway, I talked too much about this. I'm going to finish it up, and then I will put it in the frame after I scan it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, in the middle of drawing this, I just, like laughed okay it's just cute like little mouth okay okay and then i thought i would try to put something in space like i always do so i thought i would start off by making an ocean in space which was very fun i love putting aquatic animals in space i think it's kind of a common thing because space is all done now i just have to sign it and scan it and frame it I really hate these things on frames where you have to pull up like a this, this metal flap. Always scares me. I feel like I'm gonna get stabbed by them. Like it's just gonna push through my skin. Hasn't happened, but. I'm remembering now she wanted me to do the whole family so I might, uh, I might I will do the other peeps tomorrow the mom and the dad if that's true because I have four frames there it is so I have one one and two okay do I have four frames where's my other frame wait why do I have three frames I thought I had four frames what's going on here what is this so, I thought I had three, four frames, I guess I have three. Okay, well, I'll just wait for her text, because I'm confused. Alright, I think I'm going to wrap it up for bed. Uh, I like how Omaha turned out. It's just a little bit monotone. There's no um, reds in there. I could have made his, um, like his, what do you call this part? Like his chest a little bit more red, uh, because, uh, I don't know, the blood would show more, but I think it's fine. Okay, I think I'm going to head to bed. I will hopefully blog, vlog tomorrow and have a good night. Well, see you in the next clip. Bye. Cinemores with one such spirit. You might take her for a girl. But she was not just any girl.
properly. It's supposed to be true love's kiss. <sighs> Certainly he was the one. What are you doing? We have to keep looking. <laughs> I'm still using the same foam block from the class. I might have to buy a new one because it's really messy here, but it still works. It's also getting kind of flat in some areas, but it still works. Good morning, guys. So yesterday was... My light died. My lamp. Anyway, I have to replace that. So um, uh, yesterday was Friday night. All I did yesterday when I came back home from work was just pretty much chilled out. I did some needle felting like you saw. I drank a little bit of cider. I watched Maleficent, uh, which I quite enjoyed. So, except for the CG parts, I don't really like CG parts. So let me show you the felting, <laughs> the felt stuff that I made last night because I don't think I filmed the final product. Okay, so here is my collection of stuff that I've made. I, the corn that I made when I went to the needle felting class the first time is somewhere over there um, in my cupboards or in my cabinets. But um, as you know, I made a bunch of mushrooms I made these two into earrings, but I got rid of the, um, what do you call that, the earring stuff because I kind of liked it just as mushrooms. Yeah, so I made this one. I don't really like how the green, I made this one before, but I don't really like how the green color is. It doesn't really work. It kind of looks like dish sponge color-wise, so I ditched that. Uh, more mushrooms. This one was from last time. Mushroom, mushroom. And the three things I worked on last night was first this um, owl head. Just pretty much a simple circle with some patterns. I looked up Google Images uh, needle felting and then it came up with a bunch of images and I scrolled down and saw something that was simple enough to do. This one actually came with a little tutorial. I just looked at the step-by-steps um, and kind of um, copied that. So credit should be to the artist who actually did that. I'll try and remember where it was from and link it down below because I like crediting people. I tried to remember too. Um, but yeah, pretty cute. I think it should be a little bit more oval. Maybe next time I can work on, you know, a body. I'm really just stuck on spherical shapes for now because that's the simplest and hopefully I can improve. Uh, it's been quite therapeutic. And then the next thing I did was this face. I was like, maybe I can do, if I get really good, I can do like needle felted portraits, but it's a long way off. We're just starting with the simple stuff. She has a kind of like a, a beehive. I added some ears. <laughs> and my last and favorite one is this thing. I wanted to do like a little mouse, but the shape here ended up looking like, you know, those um, Hercules beetles, but like albino. It only has four legs or four little things, but it's cute. <laughs> it's really cute, so I really enjoy him. I, I kind of thought of putting like the mushrooms on top, like these mushrooms, but there's too much white, so I might pattern him up. I also wanted, I, at first I was like, I could do a hedgehog, but then I don't know how to put the spikes on. It would probably just be a pattern and then I'd have to buy like texture for the top but I kind of like just the way he looks right now. He's really cute to me, especially when he's on his back. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. He's just so white it's hard to see the detail. But yeah, I did all these last, um, these three ones last night. I'm enjoying needle felting. It's very therapeutic for me so I've been doing it when I'm kind of like I just don't want to draw and I just want to do something else. So I put Netflix on and then I did some needle felting while I was drinking that cider. So I don't know what I'm gonna do today. It's Saturday morning. Um, I have my coffee ready. Oh, by the way, another Patreon package came back. So I'm gonna mail this out on Monday. Uh, I think it's really the Canada Post strike because the people I've been messaging who got, the stuff got returned, it's during the strike and they received other 
uh, previous packages, so definitely the strike. It's kind of annoying because it says on the it has a little note. I don't want to turn it over because it has the address. It has a little note from Canada Post or wherever that says it's like not deliverable, but that's totally a lie. So it's just the strike, I guess. I was gonna paint my nails last night too, but um, I did get to it. I got too tired. Speaking of nails, my boyfriend gave me some money because he kept asking me what I wanted for Christmas. So he, um, I, I was thinking about it because I don't, I think I have everything I need. I'm pretty happy with just like gift cards to um, Curry's or Michael's or whatever. Um, but I thought about it on the bus because he was very adamant about what I wanted. So he gave me money because I want to get my nails done for the new year. I've done gel nails before and they're very expensive and I know I can buy like the home kit but it just wait, takes way too, way too long, so I, I'm like giving me some money so I can do my nails. Now I have to decide what color I want for the new year. I'm gonna go get it after the, the move is done because I won't be like busy carrying stuff and probably ruining my nails. So I got the money for my gel nails for the new year. I'm thinking like yellow because I've never had yellow. Yellow or, or a bright green or a baby blue. So those are the things because I've never gotten those colors on me before. Um, darker color, <laughs> darker colors usually look better on me because of my skin tone. But okay, stop talking about now. Oh, oh and someone mentioned Abby mentioned in the previous vlog that she noticed that whenever I uh, I say to myself a lot like I'm gonna stop talking now or I'm gonna shut up and then I stop talking. I just I think it's just like um, a thing that I picked up because I noticed when I edit my vlogs or when I rewatch my vlogs, I tend to repeat myself. So it's kind of like a way for me to tell myself you're probably repeating yourself so you should stop talking it's not really kind of a negative thing i just want to save myself and you guys from me being repetitive so i'll try and find a way to make it like a little less kind of condescending to myself i don't see it like as a <coughs> as a negative but i guess some people do <coughs> oh god i'm not bringing myself down i just it's like a, a mechanism for me to stop myself from repeating myself because that's what I noticed and I just repeated myself so that's why I also it's that but it's also I feel like if I talk for too long the vlog is boring but um, you guys say it's not so you guys like to hear me talk so I'll just keep babbling on I just like also it's purely me I think when I edit my vlogs I like things to have shifts in the scenes for very Usually frequently I don't like just sticking to my face for like 10 minutes and just talking I like changes of scenery because I think it makes it a little bit more interesting as in in the editing perspective for myself So it's just a preference as well And I think those are the two big factors as to why I tell myself to shut up and stop talking Is so I can tell myself to not repeat myself which I'm already repeating myself now and also provide some more interest in scenery like I uh, if I'll, I'll still talk, but I'll try to like put the camera somewhere else. So it's just that. Okay, I'm gonna put these felting creations away. I've been putting them on this corner of my desk because I like looking at them, but I think it's adding up. I know, I, I think I still have some space for now. They're gonna stick with the shark. There you go. I'll organize it a bit better. Where's my favorite albino Hercules beetle? Me. Okay. Hello. So it's many hours later. I was drawing a bunch. I took a nap. I woke up. It's now 9 o'clock at night. I don't remember the last time the clip was, but it was like early afternoon. So it's late now. Um, didn't really do much today. I worked on this Krampus drawing because I felt like drawing Krampus. I drew him like a lot smaller and then I was like, I'm gonna do it and I want to try my pastels. So these are the soft pastels. Um, with a mix of watercolor and pencil crayon and also some oil pastel in here. Let me grab you grab the thing that I used that I was talking about. I talked about this in the previous vlog. So the stuff I used for the most part, well the bigger spots, um, like Krampus's body and the snow here and some oil pastel and soft pastel on here and then some pencil crayon and then some watercolor on some spots. Um, the, I really like the drawing. The only thing that I kind of messed up on is the shape uh, placement of his horns. And also, I didn't actually have the brown that I wanted. So this is a bit more of a reddish brown. Um, 
yeah so the darkest brown that i have is this dark ochre and so that's what i used but i wish it was a little bit more darker i don't have any black when i was picking up um when i was picking up these i tried to i did i didn't notice that there wasn't an and there wasn't any black and there was there also wasn't any red so when i go back to that art store or wherever i get soft pastels i'm gonna look for black um but I think, or, or or a darker brown, but I think it looks okay. It was a really quite um, a fun little experiment, so I'm going to experiment with it a little bit more. And this is the preliminary sketch of Krampus, just trying it out. So yeah, I think it's a pretty successful experiment. I didn't really have an actual list of things that I wanted to get done. I just feel like now that I'm not doing the drawing challenge, I'm just kind of doing whatever which is nice um but i do want to get stuff done uh i for the most part, part finished laying out the art book i did i i was gonna work on the stickers that i'm going to add into the pre-orders i received a couple more pre-orders so that's good but um i just didn't feel like doing any digital art today i just wanted to sit down and play with the pastels so that's why but yeah i think i guess i'm gonna edit this in scan this and edit this on photoshop so i can post it on my website and pretty easy day today uh, i ate a little bit of food i watched a couple meme videos and then had a nap i woke up my boyfriend has been playing smash brothers all day so uh, and oh i also painted my nails this bright pink it actually looks pretty good i didn't think it would look good the only thing is the nail polish isn't that great so it's really kind of ugly looking up close but the spray pink is quite nice i might do it i'm thinking about colors for my gel polish i might do it for the gels that i get in the new year but maybe i don't know so i'm i'm i feel like it's when i get the bright yellow it'll be okay because this looks pretty good yeah that's all my updates for now um mm, i'm just gonna do random stuff and i'll check back with you guys later Hey guys, it's the next day. It's Sunday. I don't think I'm gonna film much of my face today because I didn't feel like doing my makeup and I feel kind of gross. I think it's all about chocolate I've been eating. I've just been feeling bad, but it's Christmas, so <laughs> I should stop eating chocolate. Um, yeah, so I'm just packing some orders today. Pretty much easy weekend. I didn't really do too much. I refilled my ink cartridges like you can see and I, you saw me fill, printing out some of the November prints. Uh, but yeah, I'm just packaging orders that came in, just a couple. And then I'm gonna start editing the vlog because I don't think I'm gonna vlog too much anymore. And I hope, um, you guys are okay with that. Because I need to, I would like to upload the vlog this weekend so I can get back into a regular schedule. Because I uploaded the previous vlog on Wednesday. So, yeah. Anyway, I am going to write my thank you on this. Why is my mouse not working? Hey guys, it is Monday night. I got home from work. I had my dinner. I had a shower. Pretty much the same kind of thing. Uh, I did not upload the vlog last night. Well, this weekend because I just... This week was a very tiring and this weekend was... I really wanted to get back into work but when I sat down on my desk, I just didn't feel like it. I think it's because the past few weekends I've been so busy right after November so I'm just trying to take it easy and I think it's gonna be like that until the new year I'm just going to be uploading whenever I can vlogs will be up weekly but they won't be up like I usually have them over the weekend or on Friday they'll be up still every week I will try and in terms of new videos I will be trying to film some art videos but again they won't be at a regular schedule I might actually employ that in the next year I'll be uploading videos but not at a, in a consistent on a consistent day so they'll just be up every week so look forward to those and I hope you guys understand it's just me trying to 
um, kind of take a, a little bit of a breather in this very very busy holiday month because of the work move and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one but first I'm going to do my patreon shout out this week's patreon shout out is to Kara Kara thank you so much for being my patron and for supporting all the work that I do I hope you enjoy the content that I've been putting up on patreon and if you watch this vlog thank you so much for you know supporting me and thank you guys for watching this vlog till the end i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and i will see you guys in the next vlog thank you so much for being so patient with my upload schedule hopefully by the next year i will be less less busy and less tired probably hopefully still busy but less tired so i will see you guys next time bye